Hi, Dougie Burt here with Stu Grice. How are you, Stu? Yeah, good. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Hey. And the team here at Douglas Tackle World. That's it. Yep. Yep. We're going to talk fishing this weekend. Well, yep. Stu, the weather? It's fantastic. Not really. It's back to normal. It's so months. bad. I know. We thought, we thought the weather had broken and it was coming yeah. good. But yeah, it was really good last week. But it's just for this weekend. Okay. Yep. So, yeah. Okay, Stu, let's talk about it. It's so, very good weekend to prepare. Yeah, good to, to get prepare. everything ready. Yep. Yeah. And we'll talk a bit later about fishing inside, which is probably not too bad this weekend. It's the option. It is the option if you're a crazy fisher like us. Yep. Otherwise, um, get ready for Thursday, Friday. That's good weather. It does. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Stu, I'm going to talk about dolphin fish. I know that with last weekend, there's a lot of fish caught. It was. And the weather wasn't too bad. Yeah. And quite a few guys got out. Um, unfortunately, we had our sail on and we had to work. We're banished to the shop. Yep. And just heard about all these fish coming in left, right and centre while we're here and uh, we lo- love helping you guys out but sometimes it's i wish i was work i was calls. frustrated you were frustrated yeah. oh, i was very frustrated because you know <laughs> dougie you did turn up mate but late as always that's uh-huh. good five minutes <laughs> okay here we go so guys there are a lot of dolphin fish caught yep. there were guys that got them and guys that didn't catch them okay so the guys that caught them some got them you know on live baits but majority got them still trolling skirts mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. and just the timing at the at the fad or where it might have been yeah. um, is very important. Um, there was a lot of marlin caught as well, a lot of black marlin. Yep. And uh, the lures for those good lures. We just got actually we got as you know we got um, all of the fat boy lures in. Yeah. Still got, got a full range of them. Still three four hundred down there, and yep. now we just got in about five or six hundred of the cool skirts. Yep. Um, we got some of his new skirts, which are a little bit different to last time skirts in color for the same color. But they are much more enhanced. Much yeah, they are. Much yep, nicer. They look really good. We can grab a few there, Stu. Grab a couple, mate. Yep. Grab Jay. Heaps. Heaps of that, um, like six inch top skirt. Screamers. Yep. Yep. And anyhow, we got this is just like one hundredth of the little bits of different colours and types that we got. Uh, also, also 3D prints skirts. Yep. So last year, these things smashed it, and they still are the guys that have been out there recently getting dollars and stuff on them and little blacks. Um, he's got a new colour out in his strip teaser, yep. Stewie, which is this one here. That's um, it. That's pretty bright to oh, me. I reckon it's very troutish, mate. Oh, not coral very trout, yes, very coral troutish. And Dougie, yeah. what's this? This is a bit of a new concept, mate. Well, it's a, well, not, it's a new it's concept not, here. It, 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 it's not legal for game fishing, as in such if you fish in a competition. Yep. But hell, it catches lots of fish. Oh, so, no. so in America, yep. this is legal, and they, this is what they use for game fishing all the time. So it's actually a bird teaser yep. with a daisy chain behind daisy it. Daisy chain. And, and then, then you've got the old weak, weak link at the end with a hook in it. It's rigged. It's rigged. It's ready to roll. So um, you actually tow this on your on your rods and yep. you actually use it as a lure, the whole thing. Yep. So you just clip it on like normal, Dougie? That's right. Yep, snaps the hook yep. to that end. So it's a rigged daisy chain, that's what it's called. Yeah, and yep. uh, it'll catch them. And it comes in different colors, like your Lumos and your Brad J's and your, um, yep. your Black Betty's and those sort of dark colors as well. Yep. Yeah, so anyhow, I reckon that'll be good. Um, we know overseas that's like a dolphin fish killer. Marlin killer. Tuna killer. Tuna killer by far. Yep. yep. Um, so now they're here and Pete's doing it. So yep. different to what I would have thought Pete might be on with um, all the legal side of things, but it's only illegal if you're fishing a competition. But if you're not fishing a competition... It's very legal. Go catch them. Yeah, that's right. That's it. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, so that's yep. it. So guys, um, other thing too, if you hook rigs from last year, check for your rigs before you go fishing in this season. And if the hook rigs a bit blunt, so bring yep. them in. That's it. We'll, 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 got, we'll change hook rigs over. Yeah, we've got heaps of hook rigs Hazel in rig. stock. Uh, new leader, freshen it up. Yep. And then and, you're ready. And we can teach you how to do it all. We've got all the gear here to do it yourself. Yeah. And it's a lot cheaper to do it yourself, of course. Although we don't charge for rigging, we just charge it for the young the hooks. <laughs> yeah, so it's actually so, cheaper if we do it. <laughs> Maybe. But, <laughs> but anyhow, yeah. um, price is always right. That's it. Yep. yep. So, Probably dolphin fish around, and they're going to be after this big blow. It's been blowing suddenly now for yeah. nearly a week. Yeah. Um, forty knots, fifty knots. So it was a couple of days ago, um, and um, that warm water be pushed right in close. Unfortunately, pushes the pushes the current in close a little bit, but um, I have no doubt the fish will be on, yeah. and I reckon the mac will be really on. Yeah. Um, it's very very early, but as we all know, they've been here the last two weeks. Yeah. No one's been out for a few days now. There may be a few guys that might brave to get across Palmy, but I flew in. Last night, just on dark, and, and Crumb and Bar was horrid. Was, as, was as, it good? <laughs> and I was just a white, white monster. Um, and so was um, Talabudger as well, and Tweed. So, yeah. 
haven't checked out the seaway yet, but I guess it might be a bit ugly on the big sets coming through on the run out time. Yeah. Just be careful, seaway. I don't know if the sand's moved much in the last few days, but just check it anyhow. Um, other thing that's caught in the, on the weekend and recently, which was very unusual, in this schooled up a big GT. So mm. um, no one's actually been caught by non stick bait or poppers traditionally as we catch them. They're all being caught on skirts, live yep. baits. <laughs> yeah, trolling for mackerel. And, and just yep. drifting, drifting with live baits. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and, and these fish are like nothing under 25 kilos or 30 kilos, they're big. Yeah. And the ones that have been lost by well, some of our customers have told us um, were like 40 kilo plus. And those guys actually, one of the guys actually caught one about 25 kilo, 30 kilo, which you'll, you'll see in our fish report this weekend. And, um, and he said the one that they lost was much, much bigger. Straight the hook, actually. So the double hookup. Yeah. And they're actually schooled up like mackerel on the sound at that mermaid. And I've heard the same at Palmy, I've heard the same out, out on the um, casino reef of yep. um, Focus Head. Yep. And, uh, and I think I even heard one down the gravel patch off Burley. So yeah. there must be a lot of GTs here. You know? Yeah. That's incredible. And they're all big. And they're all big. Yeah. <laughs> there's, no, there's no little ones. They're all nah. like the ones you want to get a picture of, you know? Yeah. They're preferably caught in a popper or sick face. So if they're going to be here after this blow, I don't know. And have they been and gone? Don't know. But I don't know how to finance to go and do it, but yeah. I would definitely be taking down a stick bait and popper because that would just be the ultimate to get yeah. one on our local reef yeah. on a popper or a stick bait. Yeah. Anyhow, we've got all that gear here too, guys. <laughs> if you want it, we got it. Um, so next, Stewie, um, yeah. that's probably across shore. Yeah. There is a few snapper around, yeah. but um, the weather has been um, obviously a bit hard to do that. The good thing about this weather, it'll push you into the seaway, Stuart. Yeah, well, yeah. definitely. And there's, there was a few caught earlier in the week in the seaway, just squire. But um, yeah. there has been no. Yeah, yeah I, actually been saw, pretty good. I actually saw a guy on Facebook said he's bagged out on snapper in the seaway. Yeah, right. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. And they're all like 40 to 50 centimetres. You don't size. have to travel real far, do you? No. That's Cheapest true. speed so, of snapper ever. Yeah. <laughs> um, Dougie, we just got massive range of gold back in. Yeah, we have. Um, but these range. worked really good last time for snapper. Yeah. Yep, like over that gravelly type um, yeah. area. Dr- drifting from the wall, Stuart. Up yep. on this pipe, sorry, down to the north wall way break. Yeah. The running tide. First run in's really good. Yeah. And, uh, and just. Like tea bagging on the bottom. Yeah, small hops. Yeah, small hops. Yep. Yep. Light jig head if you can. I reckon those bite signs, which we, we love and use and yeah, and uh, tried over and over and over and caught lots of fish, um, I reckon they'd work because the little anchovies are feeding on like little white bait and little anchovies at the moment. So yep. that's like smaller a profile. That. Smaller profile, so correct. Yep. Hence why the prawns work well. Yeah. Um, but yeah. a lot of flatties on the wall too, still. Lots of flatties on the wall, yeah, yeah. Just that last bit of the incoming tide mm, has right. been quite good. Yep. Um, same thing, throwing small plastics up into those um, little sandy patches yep. and just working it back slowly. Mm. Um, vibing just through the broad water, Dougie. Yep. Clint's been out there again, Gold Crest River Charters, but he's um, always catching them on the little ZXs and small soft plastics. And they catch snapper too, believe it or not. They catch yeah, everything, mate. <laughs> everything. Yeah. But um, they've been really good. Yep. Yep. And Stewie, so, um, at the jumping pin, I saw Ross go to Hipper Taylor. Uh, he said the bait was just everywhere. It's yesterday, didn't it? Or don't Yeah, call. that was. A couple of days ago. Yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And um, Stewie, so, yeah. uh, casting or trolling lures? Casting or trolling lures. I just use small, um, shallow running hard bodies. Like that's a little favourite of mine, the little uh, Jackson. Dougie, you got a couple there, mate? Yeah, one of Nomads, and yep. obviously the Rapala, which we use on dollies as well, but the, obviously the tail will take those too, because they cast yep. a long way. Yep. Um, the bigger Nomads for flatties on the flat strip, if yeah. you're not up on Gold Bank and Yeah, anymore. definitely. Gold Bank and um, up around the lagoons this time of year, always yep. got some bigger ones up there. Yep. But um, look, the fish are a bit fewer and far over between, but they're generally a bit bigger. But um, so the new, new for Nomad? Yeah, Shikari minnows, they yep. work really well. Um, they've got good hooks in it on it straight away. You can just throw it and use it. But anything that looks like a mullet and just work it up in that real shallow water on the mm. top of the tide. Personally, I'd probably go around the back of um, this time of the year, like around Shears Ditch, which is near Tipples Channel, and also the bedroom in Pandanus Island area. Those yep. banks are in there. Yeah. I love top minnows. It's a TikTok. <laughs> always, Dougie, always. Yeah, TikTok minnows are good. Yeah. Just slow twitch, 1620 jig hook. Yep. Or a one six or one fifth in the uh, Ned Locks. Yeah. In the orange. In the and orange. Yeah. And boom. <laughs> Anyhow, Stu. So that's where we're different, mate. We're, you're always fishing in the t- kindergarten. I'm always chasing the big ones. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. some big ones looking after little that's ones right. too, mate. Okay. <laughs> so we're looking after little kids, mate. <laughs> jacks. There has been a fair few jacks getting yeah. caught. Um, 
I haven't heard of anything the last two days because we've had that summer yeah, flow. Right. They're, they're still going to be on the chew. The water temp's still warmish mm. up river. So I'd be up the Coomera, up around, um, yeah, like uh, Sanctuary Cove west. So further up river from there again. But um, yeah, just the diesel oh, diesel minnows, always a good um, always a good one from Z-Man. Yep. Dougie, those little minnows there yeah, work rip, quite well as well. gold, good colour for jacks. Yep. Um, Stu, personally, I'd be fishing around Ryan Bay canals in that area. Would you? Yes, I would, Stuart. And you know why? Why is that, Doug? Because <laughs> they're bigger. <laughs> Not like you've got little ones up the river, mate. My bigger ones are around the canals, so. That's all right. I know that you've yeah, they've probably been fed up, mate. Yeah, the problem is this yeah. week, we haven't had a fishing comp against each other because the weather's been bad. I've been away. And uh, Stewie, well, he thinks he wins even when we're not fishing, so. I don't think I'll win next week. I <laughs> know. <laughs> It's a difference. Okay, okay. but um, so yeah, Dougie, they, look, either way, Runaway Bay canals generally yep. fire pretty good this time of year and right up river, yep. but you won't find many around those Paradise Point canals yet. No. It's kind of in yeah. the middle. Yeah, okay. They're not quite there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, guys, give that a crack and uh, the whiting's to it. Whiting's been really good. Whiting's been really good. Usual spots, Dougie. Behind wave break. Yep. Um, just on north on that Carter's Bank, which is out the front yep. of Bayview. Fishing the abbeys in those areas. Guys. Yes, yep. Um, down around... Like SeaWorld Banks. Yeah, SeaWorld right. Banks, opposite uh, Labrador. Labrador, at yeah. The ground there, opposite those sort of banks there in front of the Aqua Building. Yeah. Um, if you're land based, definitely give it a crack anywhere on the foreshore from Bigger Waters to Gold Coast Bridge yep. at Sunhill. And uh, and just fish the abbeys again um, yep. late, late afternoon, early morning. Yep. Um, give that a go. And uh, yeah, plenty up the river too. Yeah. If you're wide up the river. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know how it would go with. I, we haven't had heaps of rain. Uh, no, we haven't. But it might be enough to push them out a bit. Yeah, I think it'll be alright. So, yeah, worms up the river, yabbies out the raw water. Remember yep. that, please. Yep. yep. Okay, so that's it for whiting. Yep. Um, that's probably it for the broadwater guys at the moment. A few crabs around, a few sandies around the back of uh, Wave Break and back of um, sort of Sovereign, yep. Efren Island, that area. Yep. Overnight's best. Yeah. Uh, give that a go. And muddies, while well, they're just starting, we need more rain to get them really motivated. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want more rain. No, we don't. So, no. <laughs> it's a bit of a this way. Yeah. But anyhow, yeah, see how it goes. And um, give it a crack. Fresh water yeah. stew. What's happening up the dance, mate? Yeah, lots of um, lots of bass around, yep. as always. The old fellas of fish bait, Dougie's been smashing yeah, they them have, again. like in the hundreds again, and they're up to yeah. 50 something centimetres. And yeah. There's plenty of bass around. So, Stu, you always say troll lures around, mate. Yeah, troll lures. Yeah. If you don't have a sounder or you're in a kayak, if you just troll a little lure like that one that Dougie had or that style. Um, They'll smash it, and it's good because you work in different parts of the water and you're covering ground. That's right. Yeah. So, so put an app on your phone, guys, called um, Navionics uh, Boating, and you will actually can have a plotter trial going. Um, it'll download. It doesn't use the data. It downloads off the internet. Off the uh, sorry, off the, inter- off the satellite. Yeah. And uh, and you can have your little plot trial going on on your on your thing, and when you hook it on your phone, and when you hook a fish up, you just push a little button and mark a little mark on there. And you go up and down at the same spot, rather than trying to line up the trees and and the um, bushes on the on the shoreline. Yeah, I thought that's what you normally well, do. Well, I normally do, but sometimes they move a bit. The wind that gets a bit crossed and it gets confusing. Every bush looks the same. So <laughs> I heard that before. So anyhow, yeah. um, give that a crack. Yeah. And um, then um, the other thing too, guys, is um, casting the little steel on the edge of the banks yeah. early so, morning. Early morning, little swim baits have been working really good. Um, they're just a couple of fish craft ones. Just with like a red claw or a yabby type pattern on them, mm. and um, they've been working really good. Yep, yeah, good. Yep, and uh, I see that young Lockie's got a couple of cod and some nice hey, cod. He's getting some cod and bass, yeah. and yep. yeah, Lockie works here, and uh, he's a bit of a bass extraordinary fisherman as well as yep. Jack's doing else. Yeah, uh, but um, he loves going at sort of the black block, back blocks of the uh, Hens Dam, yeah. or whichever river it may be. Yeah, and uh, and finding really good fish, natural fish in the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's been doing more fishing than us lately. He has, unfortunately. But yeah. next week, so we're making him work. No, no we're going fishing. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, so guys, yeah. um, that's about it for the weekend. Um, as I said, the weather needs to clean up. Um, keep out there, get out fishing, get your gear ready. We've got yep. all gear here. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and our Instagram page. Or come to the shop here, Douglas Sacker World, number 8, Centreview Drive, Bigger Waters, just behind Armtown, off Brisbane Road. That's it. That's it. Okay, yep. good luck. Go out and find that bush and uh, get yourself some fish. <laughs> See you later. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.